Our next guest pushing back on the notion that all young black Americans are progressive. Featured in a New York Post op-ed, they say now is the time for Republicans and black Americans to unite over conservative values. Political commentator and YouTuber Sharif Lane and CEO of the Conscious Conservative Movement, Felicia Killings, they both join us now. Good morning. Good morning. Thank Good you morning. for having me. Thank you. Oh, those are some beautiful young ladies. Check them out. Check them out. And it says more black Americans identify, identify as conservatives. All right. See y'all. It's happening. Uh-huh. And this goes to all the people who, um, in my emails and on Twitter, feel like I am being brainwashed. Nah. Well, if you want to call it brainwashed, you call it um, having your brain washed of all the BS that's been in it for a long damn time. To be honest with you, I'm just learning, man. And so are they. These young fem these young women have been learning. And they look they look astute. They look intelligent. Let's hear what they gotta say. Thank you for coming home with us. So Sharice, tell us why why are you conservative? Well, first of all, I would say that I was raised in a Christian home. My grandparents are pastors, and they raised my mother to be Christian and conservative, which in turn had her raise me to be Christian and conservative. But it wasn't until I was in middle school that I realized I was conservative. Um, I attended a, a school called Victory Christian Academy in Orlando, Florida, a predominantly black and Christian school. And it wasn't until the, about the seventh grade that my teacher, Ms. Randolph, she advised us to research both sides of political parties and also to look at what a conservative is and what a liberal is. And after I did that, that's when I came to the realization that I was conservative. But Shout out to Ms. Randolph for encouraging her students to check out both sides of, um, of the equation. That, that's beautiful. When you tell people to, you're not, you're not even leading them to the side, oh, no, you need to look at more conservative stuff. Check this out. Check this out. No. They said, check out both sides. Check out everything. And then make your decision. And what a liberal is. And after I did that, that's when I came to the realization that I was conservative. But I, I was raised Christian and I was raised conservative, so it came natural to me with that realization. Mm -hmm. How about you, Felicia? My father raised me um, to be conservative. This is just all I know. Big shout out to dad right now who's watching. Shout out to dad. Um, and this is pretty much the experience for a lot of black Americans. We are conservative in our values. However, there has been a significant gap between the Republican Party and black voters. And right now what we're trying to do with the conscious conservative movement is to bridge that gap via education and training, uh, just talking to black voters as well as to white conservatives so that we understand that there are common Personalities. And if we show up, I'm telling you that it's going to be a powerful experience, even in the political spectrum. Mm -hmm. Sharice, according to... All I got to ask these two young ladies is, why are y'all drinking the Kool-Aid? Huh? Why are y'all being brainwashed? Huh? Y'all are, y'all are, um, y'all are Uncle Tom's. <laughs> Ain't that what they say? That's what everyone's saying. Whenever you decide to have a brain for yourself and you start to look into information that people who look like you and usually vote left vote democrat um they see you starting to expand your 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 thoughts and your your knowledge and bring more information to the community that was that wasn't there before or that they're hiding from don't want to know. No, nah, don't tell me that. You only tell me that because that's being fed to you by such and such, by the white man or by this person, by that person. And you are this. Then they start calling them names and everything. Because I just now checked out Larry Elder being called names by Don Lemon. That's just ridiculous. Just come on, simply because we don't have the same understanding of politics. I am all these names. I'm unaware. I'm not aware anymore. I'm ignorant. I'm unintelligent. Come on now. And that's just ridiculous. So, yeah. I'm telling you that it's going to be a powerful experience, even in the political spectrum. Mm -hmm. Sharice, according to Pew Research, four in 10 black Democratic voters call themselves moderate, but the Democratic Party doesn't seem to be moderate anymore. It's so progressive. Right. I definitely agree. And I would say that Historically, black Americans, we are conservative. Um, when, I, when it comes to conservatism, I believe that that does not align. It, basically, it, 
it doesn't have to do anything with political parties. Mm -hmm. When you are conservative, it has to do with values, and that's what I tell everyone. You can be conservative and not be a Republican. You can be conservative and be a Democrat. You can be conservative and be independent. The point is, black and- Go ahead, young lady, break it down. Break it down, young lady. I like how you present yourself, and she is really putting it down, yeah. You can be conservative, but you ain't got to vote the way everybody else vote. Just be conservative. You can have values and still believe, I mean, want to vote the way you want to vote. That's, that's on you. Conservative and be a Democrat. <clears throat> you can be conservative and be independent. The point is, black Americans are historically conservative. And just because, you know, they are black doesn't mean they have to be liberal or they have to be Democrat. They are historically conservative. Felicia, you say black Americans are looking for a political home. What do you think will happen next year with the midterms and then when we choose another president down the road? I think right now conservatives and Republicans have an opportunity to bridge this gap to make these alliances. This is something that I share with beloved conservatives almost daily on Twitter class. It's about understanding black history. It's about understanding that black history is on the side of conservatism. And if we can espouse these messages in a more empowering way, as opposed to a degrading, dehumanizing manner, we're going to see more black Americans, especially black millennials, especially among black male voters. We'll start to see more of them aligning themselves with conservative politics because conservatism has promised to protect protect our growing black wealth, which we are eagerly um, building day in and day out. Yes, yes, yes. These young ladies are dope. Oh, man, a year ago, I would have been like, man, look at them. Look at them. They don't know what they're doing. Look at them. That was, yeah. Oh, no. I would say three months ago, I would have been like, man, look at them. It's crazy, man. It's, and, and I just turned 44 years old. Yeah, yeah. Ignorance has no age. Ignorance has no age. Our growing black wealth, which we are eagerly um, building day in and day out. All right. Well, you made your dad proud, Felicia. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank and you. And Sharice, thank you. God bless you. Yeah, that was dope. Um, I, I really enjoy when I watch, even if they just came up there and said, hmm, you know, I have conservative values, um, but Obama for another eight years, if they would say something like that, I'd be like, <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> but they didn't um i'm joking obviously um because some people don't know when i'm sometimes I've, see, I've seen before i've been joking and people thought i was being serious and and um so i had to uh, straighten that out but i love the fact that their families were involved in helping them figure out who they was that means a whole lot that mean a whole lot to um, the black community that I mean a whole lot to the country period that your family or people who love you are involved not only was the young lady's family involved but her teacher was involved and told her to go look at other information check out both sides liberal information conservative information figure out for yourself what values you hold and what which which, which party you will stand with because it's important because you're going to have rights to vote someday. And when you when you do vote, you're going to want to vote for um, your interest and for the interests of those um, you care for. But you've got to be knowledgeable first. All right. Because this is how this works. Then the other young lady whose dad taught her everything she knows about conservatism. Um, they, they kept saying conservatism. I don't know if that's a word or not, so I'm going to stick with conservativism um, because it sounds more like a, a word, but whatever. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Um, her dad, she had her father in her life, period. She had her father in her life directing her on, on, on how to get her own knowledge and how to understand things and how to communicate and how to present herself. And she clearly did an amazing job. Uh, he did an, he his her her father did an amazing job preparing her and she clearly followed instruction and the way she just presented herself shows that um you know she got a proud dad i'm just gonna say that like the young lady said who was the anchor of this whole thing um i'm sure her dad is proud but i want to hear what y'all got to say about this in the comments below if you have yet to hit that subscribe button please make sure you do so on your way out the door once again guys i'm banned 
and now we are all the LFR family and I look forward to seeing you on the next video hopefully inside the Patreon as well y'all have been amazing love y'all